So this will be the final video covering the Blender to Unreal 5 character rig topic using Klein's setup. We've been demonstrating parts of this in the past, but for the last video, I figured I'd just show you what the whole process would look like from beginning to end. If you just wanted to replace the default Unreal 5 Manny rig with your own character, and specifically for two-handed weapon animations like a sword or an axe or a lance. So basically how the system works is instead of a normal Blender file where you have the mesh and the rig and the animations all in one file, instead we have it broken up into three parts. The skeletal mesh, which only contains the mesh and the base skeleton. The rig file, which creates a rigify rig that references the skeleton. And then all the animations are just separate files that reference the control rig. Now the main reason we want to do this is because if you're working on a project and the character has multiple different weapons that have different weapon rigs, it's just easier to organize them into separate animation files instead of saving multiple copies of the entire file that has copies of the same character with the same rig but slightly different weapons. So we have this character, it's already white painted with the Unreal 5 skeleton, but the proportions are slightly different compared to the default. So if we want to use it with a two-handed sword, first we're going to open the skeletal mesh. Basically, we need to replace this with our character. Now the most important thing here to remember is the hierarchy has to stay exactly the same. So we have an empty named SKM Manny, and that is the parent of the root armature, and that is the parent of all the meshes. So we right click, delete the hierarchy, and then import our character instead. Now we have to make sure that there's the same character structure. So a single empty named SKM Manny, it should be zeroed out. You don't want the weapons in this file, so we'll just delete them. We have a root armature that should be parented to Manny, and just check to make sure that all of our meshes are parented to the root armature. Okay, now we'll just do a quick weight paint check to make sure that everything survived. So far so good. Now we save and go to the control rig file. Here we can see that the skeleton isn't really aligned and the feet are going through the ground. To fix that, first we have to go under our skeletal mesh and under the constraints uncheck copy location. Then we hide everything that's not our character rig or the meta rig, click the meta rig and then go to edit mode and make sure the mirror bones are on. Then at the top, we set snap to vertex, turn snap on, and then we just move the meta bones to match the character bones. And they should automatically snap together. Cool. Now before we reconstruct the rig, we have to unhide the control rig and under all the climb prop root bones, go to edit and select all of these. These are basically bones that are designed to help control the weapon props. They're kind of necessary, so we don't want to delete them. So instead, we're just going to right click in the main window and hit separate bones. Now we go to the meta rig and regenerate rig, click the little rig here, then shift click the main rig, right click and hit join. Now we can unhide everything and under the root, make sure you turn the location copy constraint back on, save, and now all the animation files should be using our new character. Now, there is already a demo animation file with a two-handed sword constraint already working. So the easy thing to do would just be to replace this sword with our sword. And to do that, we just make a copy of the sword file, open it, replace it with our own sword, and make sure that it's named cube with a capital C. Then save and open the animation file. Then at the top under files, under libraries, right click the sword, relocate, and replace it with the new sword file you just created. You're done. Now, there's already a two-handed sword rig here to play with, and basically the way it works is you will see that when we move the right hand, the left one starts to follow it. And there are two main control bones here. One of them is called secondary pivot, which allows you to slide the hand up and down the handle without messing up the fingers. The other bone is called the secondary handle helper, which is there if you need to reposition the hand to a more precise position around the handle. At any point, if you want to detach the left hand from the weapon, you just left-click the hand controller, turn off the influence, which disables it from following the right hand and if you want it to be FK controlled instead you can turn it on and the hand will just follow the FK chain instead. So that's the gist of how you control this system. When you're done making your animation you just export it to Unreal the same way we showed in the last few videos. But yeah, hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.